Welcome back to another video guys. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but I've just been fishing and posting YouTube shorts. Um, yeah, and uh, I just sold my Sears 12 foot boat, you know, the little one that I painted, the painted it black and gray. But um, now I got a new boat, so I'll go ahead and show you my new rig. So as you can see, I got a Miracraft. It's a 1979 Miracraft Fisherman, and it has a nine and a half horsepower Johnson on the back, and a Minkota 30, Endura 30. Yep. Sorry about that close up. And there's a Garmin Striker 4 on it, which is not like the biggest one. It's probably the lowest fish finder on the market. But it is be just fine for me and i'm probably gonna get a uh either a garmin strike or five i think it's a five cv or i'm gonna get a hummingbird um helix five with like gps and chirp and i'm gonna try and get it with down imaging inside imaging so i think they all come with down imaging but a side imaging is what i want and this thing has a easy loader 4.2 trailer, which the trailer is really nice. So uh, this thing has three seats. There's like a bicycle seat. It's not a bicycle seat, but I don't, I forgot what they call it. And there's two oars it came with. Um, I think that's an Atwood six gallon gas tank. And, um, Two anchors, battery. Let's see, there's one anchor. Got storage right here. Battery, bag of stuff I got for it. There was two lights, and there's just some rope. And there's floor in the middle. Got the butt seat with the cup holders on it. There's that front seat, which I'm gonna raise this one up on a pedestal. So it's probably about 16 inches or so off the um, deck. I'm gonna make that deck, I think I'm gonna make that deck go up to there. And if this board isn't rotted, which it doesn't look like it, I'm just gonna pull it out, throw some sealant on it, carpet it, and put it back in, put the seats how they were. And these benches I plan on using Rust-Oleum. I think it's almond paint, almond color. I'm gonna repaint the tops. Probably the sides too, because the almond color should go with that. There's my Minkota and uh, Johnson. So, yeah. So, there's how it looks driving it. There's two oars. There's some carpet along here and stuff, but just my things. I don't know why there's um, two pieces of PVC right there. Now the one just to hold the wires, but I'm gonna get some corrugated piping, probably one inch. I'm gonna slide it around all that. There's my Garmin. Um, there's the gas tank, motor. Motor's pretty clean. The, the motor didn't wanna turn yesterday and I greased it all up, now it will. And this throttle didn't wanna move. It still doesn't want to move the greatest, but I've got it to move better. So yeah, I'm flooding it, but I don't plan on starting anytime soon. There's the anchor and it's wound up like that around the back seat. There's just some, I don't know, uh, measuring tape right there, which I'm gonna pull that off. And then there's the garment. Okay, you can see it. See, and now you can see traditional. There's flasher. There's a bunch of other stuff. Stupid. Yeah, it looks like they used heat shrink on all this. 
I just bought some heat shrink because the backlight, it doesn't want to work. So I got a new thing. These are nice because they're guides. So it should be a lot easier to put the boat on. And when I back up the trailer, it should be a lot easier. And yeah, like I said earlier, I think I'm going to make it go all the way up to there. Well, I should. But I was thinking of making it flat across the top with a hinge and then just making a little board come up right here. And then it'd be anchor storage and more storage for stuff. Yeah. There's an anchor. It makes noise right around here. It's just because it drags on that loop. It ain't that bad. The trailer's nice. There's a little hole right there. I don't know what that was. But yeah. There's my new rig. It should be pretty nice. I know the boat isn't in the best of condition on the outside. The inside is fine. And uh, I think it'd be a perfect little 14 foot boat for me and a friend. So yeah, please go hit that subscribe button and like and uh, go up here to check out the how I restored that 12 foot boat. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.